Good morning to all. Myself is Asena and let's continue on our previous chapter, the universe. Our universe. So let's continue on it. You remember my previous video in which we had left are the inner planets. Let's talk about the outer planets and the asteroid belt. Let's start. Firstly, let me draw here the sun and all the planets. This one is the sun. Oh, let me use the another marker so I can highlight you. Yeah. So this one is the sun. There we have learned the first planet is a Mercury, which is also the smallest. Then we had learned that after Mercury there is a turn of the Venus which is almost the size of the Earth or it is 95% of the Earth Venus and here was the Earth Then we have learned about the Mars. Over here. And then the asteroid belt. You remember which we have to talk today. This one. Asteroid belt. Then the Saturn Uranus. Now here I have no space, so I'm drawing it down and then. So, let's continue on it. We have left at the Mars. So, let's talk about the asteroid belt. Now, firstly, what is an asteroid? So, an asteroid. A asteroid asteroid is is a rock or is a leftover rubber ro rock left over scientists believe that it is a leftover rock when the when the uh, solar system was forming let me write down a uh, asteroid is a leftover rock leftover rocks when the solar system was forming forming around forming around 4.6 billion years ago so when was our solar system was forming some rocks which was left over is the asteroid and that many many of rocks start revolving our sun and that rocks that many rocks a bunch of rocks and are, are seen as a belt type so we had given a name it is called the asteroid belt now if we are talking about asteroid Let's talk about the meteoroids also. So what are the meteoroids? It is also a chunk of rock. I mean it is a it is a also small
small rocks. But it is formed mostly in often cases it is formed when the two asteroids collided. And what do you mean by collided? They uh, they have a uh, they have a ex not an explosion. They hit each other. So it it is called collided. So they collided with each other, and it, the small rocks which is broken down is a called meteorites. Now meteorite has three names in the different places. Let me write it for you. Let, can I rub this? Thank you. So, her huh, meteorite. So it has a three different names of the meteorite. There are three different names. If it is in the space, it is called with the normal name meteorite. Meteorite. Then, if if it falls in the Earth's atmosphere, what I mean? I mean that when the meteorite start start falling on the Earth, and when it touches the at Earth's atmosphere. Because of the friction, it starts burning off. And because of that, it's, it is also called the shooting star. At that time, when, when, when it enters Earth, Earth's, Earth's atmosphere, so it has a different name. It is called at that time it is called meteors or the shooting star. It is so beautiful to look at. So when most times the meteoroid meteors break down because of the friction, it start burning, and because of that. They burned out. Now, sometimes if the meteorite meteors is a little big, so what happens that it, they manage to reach to our Earth's surface, and then when it touches the Earth's surface, that time it has a different name. It is called meteorite. Meteorite. When it reaches Earth's surface. So that time it is called meteorite. So meteorite had three different names. According to the uh, according to the place, if when it is in the space, it is called meteorite. The normal name. Then when it enters in our Earth's surface, it is called meteors or the shooting star. Then when it reaches the surface, that time it has a different name. It called it is called meteorite. So. Let's talk about the next planet, Jupiter. So, Jupiter. You can look something here. Jupiter is the biggest of all these planets. How bigger is this? For giving you an idea, I have in one Jupiter, one Jupiter is equal to one thousand Earths. Oh my God! One thousand Earths! We can't imagine that. 
so bigger, it is so bigger that it is the largest planet of our solar system. You can see this, you can see her and you can compare the size. It is the biggest of all. So, the Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet also. Now, it has largest number of moons or the satellites we had talked. It has the largest number of largest number of moons. Now the scientists discovered that the 79 different moons orbit the Jupiter. So that means Jupiter it has 79 moons. Now again one thing. What is it made up of? It is made up of the gases and that's why it is a giant so that's why the, this is called the gas giant and also it is made up of the gas its atmosphere is made up of the gases like hydrogen and the helium let me write that for you jupiter's jupiter's Atmosphere, atmosphere mainly consists of hydrogen, and helium. I'm saying Jupiter's atmosphere mainly consists of hydrogen and helium gases. And what is its rotation time and the revolution also? It rotates on its own axis in 10 hours only. Just a half of a Earth. So the rotation of Jupiter is equal to 10 hours. Now, the revolution on the other hand is 11 years. It takes 11 years to go around the sun. Let's talk about more. Now, because Jupiter is mainly made up of the gases and its rotation period its rotation period is so far its rotation period is so less that means it rotates so fast and if it is rotating so fast and it is made up of gases gases start mixing up mixing up and that's why it causes so many storms and the Jupiter has the largest number of storms also I remember one thing, the great red spot of Jupiter. You remember that? The red looking, it is, it is at this part and it is here and you can see that it is so red. And what if I tell you that in this storm, it is the biggest, it is, it is so big, it is so big that in that we can fit two Earths. What? A storm bigger than a planet. Now you can imagine how big is this Jupiter. If storm is bigger than a planet. And it is so bigger and it is it is uh, it is happening or uh, it is happening from the centuries. The storm is not stopping it here. It is look like it look like that it will never end. It looks like. And it is, it is, it is here happening from 300 years. From the centuries. The 
the scientist is seeing this storm. And this is called the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot. So I should move on to the next planet. So let's move on. Saturn? 
Let me write down for you. So, the rotation period of Saturn is just a little more than the Jupiter. That means it is 10.656 hours. It is just a little more than the Jupiter. And also its revolution period here I am writing revolution period is 29 years. It is also so it is so it there are so many years because it is far from the sun and obviously its orbit will be also so big so that why it take the long time to revolve and let's move on to the wait a minute you will ask a question what uh, from which element or from which thing does the ring of the Saturn is made up of? It is made up of the floating ice or the icy asteroids we can say. Uh, it is so cold. It is icy. They, it is the ring of the Saturn is made up of the ice. The floating ice. So let's move on to my next planet Uranus. So a ring system and its ring is just a weird type of the, its ring its ring is going around the Uranus up and down what I mean I mean that it is like something like this has a Uranus and its ring is like this and it is so thin and we can't we can see it uh, we can't, uh, it is so light uh, to see. So it is so, it is so thin and we can't see it at all like the Saturn. So, you can see how the rings, how is the rings going from up to down. It is type of weird. Now, Uranus looks so blue. Why is that? That's because of the methane gas. Let me tell you. Uranus and Neptune's atmosphere. Let's talk about the Neptune also. In the Neptune and the Uranus atmosphere, what happens? That their atmosphere is mainly made up of the yeah, the hydrogen, not the hydrogen helium. It is mainly made up of the methane. So, because of the methane, what happens? That the sunlight, the sunlight stored in that methane gas and somehow it reflects a blue light because of that these two look so blue and it is so cold also why is that because it is so 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 far from the sun it is a millions millions of kilometers far from the sun and that's why it is so cold Now, because of that, these are so cold planets. They are so icy planets. These are called the ice giants. These two are called ice giants. And also you will ask that what is the rotation and revolution period of Uranus? So let me tell you. The rotation period of Uranus is 17 hours. Which is just the 70% of our Earth's. Then it's revolution period. Is 84 years. 84 years. You can imagine that if you will live on this planet, your birthday will come after the 84 years. After the 84 years, you will get one year old. <laughs> you can imagine that how long is it. Now, let's move on to this Neptune. 
also the ice giant. And the Neptune is the ice giant. And its atmosphere is also made up of the methane. And that's why it reflects the blue light also. So, it is so cold also. There is so cold also. The Neptune's temperature, the average temperature of Neptune is minus 200 degrees Celsius. Oh my God. If you will live in that, you will freeze. So, it's average temperature. Is minus 200 degrees Celsius. I'm talking about the average temperature. Now, what is the rotation and revolution period of Neptune? And I want to tell you one thing. That Neptune is a little it is a little smaller than the Uranus. Neptune is also almost size of the Uranus. Like the Earth and Venus. Earth is bigger than the Venus. But the Venus is 95% of the Earth's size. It is, just a small, it is just a little small from the Uranus. So, its rotation. Rotation period of Neptune and revolution period of Neptune. So, the rotation period of Neptune is 16 hours. And then, the revolution period of Neptune is 165 years. Should be a particular size. It should be of a particular size. 